Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Relaxing question today, we have on the first side this is a very simple question, we have 2 and in parentheses 2 plus 2 divided by 2. On the first side, very simple question, yeah, we have only 2, we have multiplication, addition, division, so everyone learns this stuff in the third or fourth grade, everyone know about this operation, but what is the correct answer? Because as you can see we have three options, everyone is, every option is different, we have A, B and C, so what do you think is the correct answer? Pause the video and try to solve it by yourself and we will check our answers here in just two minutes. It will be really interesting to check our answer and of course to check your school knowledge, to check your algebra skills. Okay, here is our question. We have 2 and in parentheses 2 plus 2 divided by 2. Let's read this question right here. So we have 2 and in parentheses we have 2 plus 2 divided by by 2. So here is our question right here and let's try to solve it. Let's try to think how can we solve this correctly. First of all, right here we have multiplication, right here we have addition and right here we have division. So as you can see a lot of combination because what we need to start with, we need to add, add at first, we need to divide at first or we need to multiply at first. A lot of combinations right here and of course a lot of question for us because we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem because if we start from addition, this is one answer, if we start from division, another answer, if we multiply at first, completely different answer. Yeah? So we need to choose a correct answer because in math we are interested in one correct answer. For this question I have this PMDMC order of operation. This is the main popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And moreover I respect every of these order of operation. For example BODMAS, I know that one country works according to BODMAS, I respect it about it. But in this question doesn't matter what order of operation. So I, I choose PMDMC, okay? Okay, let's look at this PMDMC closer and let's try to create a correct order to do this problem. Because the first step according to PMDMC, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, according to PMDMC a correct answer is the next. We need to know what is the first step. The first step according to PMDMC is parentheses, yeah? What it is the first step. And now we need to scan where do we have this parentheses and uh, if we have the parentheses right here, let's look at it. Parentheses, yeah, we have this parentheses, we have parentheses right here. So the first step according to PMDMC is to solve these these parentheses. But here is a complicated question right now because in parentheses we have this expression. We have 2 plus 2 divided by 2. Okay? So we need to solve this parentheses at first, then we need to multiply this parentheses by 2. Okay, let's look inside these parentheses. We have 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So what is the correct order to do this problem? So we reject this parentheses, we don't have this parentheses. Let's go to the next step. Exponents. So are there any exponents right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents moreover right here and moreover in SID in our parentheses. Yeah? So we just keep this part with exponents. Okay? Okay, let's go to the next step. In parentheses we have this expression and right here the next step is multiplication and division part. A lot of students do this mistake, they, they think that we need to multiply it first and then divide, but we, in PMDMC we need to work as a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group. So now we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division sign, let's look at it. In parentheses we have an expression like that, we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So as you can see of course we have right here this this division sign, okay? And moreover, this is very important moment right now, you need to understand that you need to multiply or divide and then you need to add and subtract. So addition and subtraction is after multiplication and division. In parentheses, this is, the rule is very clear, you can easily see this right here. We have addition, we have division. So addition is after division. So we need to divide at first. So as you can see right now we are going to find this answer in, if, with parentheses, we have 2 plus, in parentheses uh, right here with this answer we have 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1. So our parentheses, as you can see this parentheses goes right here, this parentheses go right here, so in parentheses our answer is 3. But in the beginning we, we still have 2, but as you can see the first step is parentheses. So our question goes like that, we need to find per answer in parentheses, then we need to multiply it by, by 3. So 2 times 3 equal to, equal to 6. But really important moment right now, this is very like tricky question because answer is 6, but a lot of students go to this option, we have option A, option B, they don't see this 6 and they try to find it in another way, they go like 2 times 2 plus 2, as you can see they go with 4, they go with 2, so they try to find another order, more chaotic order right here. But as you can see, if you solve it according to PMDMC, which is absolutely a correct order in our case, then you need to choose a correct answer. So let's look at it. Option A 
is 4. This is not our case. Option B is 2. This is not our case because we, we solved it as 6. But as you can see right here, we have a really weird like option. We have 3 factorial. Let's look at it closely. Because 3 factorial, from school you need to know that 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 3. Yeah, we have 1 times 2 times 3. And as you can see, 2 times 3, 6 times 1, 6. So as you can see, this 3 factorial, this is the same 6 as right here, but this is like created as a tricky question right here. So someone created as a tricky because 3 factorial, this is the same 6, so you can easily write it as 6, but someone tried to make this question tricky and they go with this moment right here. So as you can see, our correct answer, our correct answer is option, option C is a correct answer. So very tricky, very tricky moment right now. Our correct answer is is option C. So here is my solution to this problem. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.